So today we're going to look at building a, a neuron in a spreadsheet. Why? Well, one of the biggest areas of growth in machine learning, AI, is this thing called deep learning neural networks. But at the core of a neural network is the idea of a single neuron. And that's what we're going to build today. So just to get our head around what's going on, what we have with a neural network is we have a processing unit, if you like, a simple processing unit that when we're going to keep it as just ones and zeros as inputs, it takes the inputs. Each input is then weighted. All I mean by that is input times a value. Those weighted inputs are added together and we get and then we we create a rule that says what do we do if a certain value happens. So just to show you that in action, what I've got here is a just a bit of a simulation of a neuron. So just to make sure it's doing it, there we go. When all the inputs are one, then the output is one. If I change one of those to become a zero, then the red is off then the output goes to be zero. That's an AND gate. And that's cool, we can build those anyway. But if we change those weights, okay. Now what we've got is if one of the input inputs is one, like the output is one, just to show you that in action do it with that one as well. But if all the inputs are off, then the output is off. That's an all gate. And all we've done is changed some weights. So now we're going to move on to the main part of this. And that is we're going to build the neuron in a spreadsheet. So we don't need anything special but just to show the idea. You can do this, I'm doing it in uh, Google Sheets, but you can do it in Excel. The process is exactly the same. So I've just created a few headings. So we're gonna have two inputs, input one, input two. We're gonna have some values, the weights, We've got three of those, one called bias, one called weight one, one called weight two. We're then going to use those weights to multiply with the inputs plus this bias thing. It's just a number. Then we're going to add all those weighted values together. And then we're going to apply a rule that says when that weighted value is greater or equal to zero then we're going to get a one output and then if it's not so if it's zero if below zero we're going to get a zero output we're going to build a rule that does that and we're just going to use a spreadsheet to do that so i'm just going to put in our inputs and these inputs are the patterns that it has to work with to do the things that we want and we're going to build an and and an or gate in this. So all I'm going to do is put zero, zero. I'm going to use one and zero as true and false. So here's all the combinations that we can have for that. So we've We've got our system started. And I'm just going to put in some values into our weights. So I'm going to use a minus one on that one. And then a one and a one on that. Okay. So Let's take a pause there to 
for you to catch up if you're following this and building along. So now we're going to start building our neuron. And the first part of it is we're going to take our weights and multiply them by the input. So weight one will be multiplied with input one and so on. So just to show that, I'm going to E2 in the spreadsheet is weight one. And that's going to be multiplied with input one. And I'm going to do the same on with weight two with input two. Okay, before we move on, I'd like to just do something more. With the spreadsheet, if you put dollar signs between the E and the two in this case, what it does is it fixes that. It says always use these. And when we cut and paste, it will not change this. It will keep using E2. I'm going to do the same on F2 as well, which is weight two, because we want one set of weights that works for all of our inputs that come in. And lastly, I'm going to put this extra weight in the bias. It's just another value. And again, I'm going to fix that. So it's always using that. Okay. So what we now can do is just cut and paste that. So it does that for all of our inputs. And just to show you what's going on there, E2, F2 and D2 have stayed the same, but instead of doing A2, B2 like we had on this, it's now A3, A4, D4 and so on. So that's those which inputs we're using has changed, but the weights have stayed fixed. The last thing that we want to do is we want to create a rule about what happens when the weighted sum is greater than or equal to zero. So all we do that is we use an if. And you've got the explanation here. If the logic expression of the test, so in this case, if the weighted sum is greater or equal to zero, comma, whatever follows it next is what you do when it's true, comma, what you do when it's not true. That's kind of fun. So we're going to say if H2 is greater or equal to zero, we're going to put a one out, one for true, zero for false in this case. We built our neuron. Our operations are all there. So when both inputs are zero, then the output is zero. But if any of the inputs are one, then the output is one or true. That's an all game. So I'll let you I'll pause that and then we'll come back to finish off the next bit. So welcome back. What we can now do is we can change the weights and if we change the weights we can change the operation. So I'm just going to change the bias to minus two. When I do that we've now got a different operation in our, in our output, new type of output. This is an AND gate. All the inputs have to be true for it to be true. 
And all we've done is change the weights. And that's the secret behind neural networks is it's all about controlling those, those weights, those values. If we change them, we change what it does. Thank you very much for listening.